Webhooks are custom callback URLs that an application can call to communicate with another application. A popular uses of webhooks are GitHub, Slack, and Discord, right? Where Discord in this case creates a webhook, for example, and you can share that webhook URL to other application and those application will quote unquote hook into that URL and post messages and, and post interesting stuff. It could be sometimes reading from Discord. It depends on what you're trying to do. When something happened in your application, like if YouTube up uploads a video, I want to do this, right? Go and call that webhook and do something, right? And uh, I, 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 F, T, T, if then, then that actually is a great use case for that, okay? In this video, I'll demonstrate webhooks uh, with vanilla JavaScript Fitch API. I wanna do the basic and vanilla stuff, all right? So I'm gonna be, uh, demonstrate webhooks using Discord webhooks and JavaScript pure Fitch API, which you can do in your browser. It's very simple, there will be no Visual Studio Code or any goofy stuff like that, right? It's just straightforward. So let's just jump into it. It's very interesting because uh, a lot of people ask me on, on YouTube, so it's like, hey, why don't you have a Discord channel? Why do you have a Discord server? Okay, so it's like, I, to be honest, like I did not use Discord at all. So I stopped, I downloaded it and started playing with it a little bit. And I saw the webhook, it's like, whoa, all right. By the way, I have a Discord server. I'll have the link below if you're interested to join the community. And have discussions and all that stuff but what i was interested like let's try the webhook and it was very simple really very very simple so that's what i'm gonna demonstrate today so what are webhooks right what are webhooks? webhooks are basically urls that one application can create for other applications to consume right to hook into and do something it's like the name is very confusing really it's just Think of it as just a URL that an application provides, and you can do stuff with it, right? So you, are, most of the time, all the webhooks I've seen is REST URLs, right? And let's go through an example. So application one decided, like, it has, like, this fancy platform where it can have messages and all this fancy stuff, and decided to create a webhook. So it creates a webhook URL, yeah? And this webhook is inflated with data it has so much information this url has probably it's a it's a url that gives you a json response with information like the token and guess what why do you need token well who the heck are you right that are creating or calling me a webhook right so you create essentially webhooks for certain applications certain users right certain applications it's like it's, a, it's very similar to the concept of tokens right so if i have this url and has all this information and have all this stuff, right? I will send that URL and be careful where you send this URL to, right? It's very secure because it contains sensitive information. Anyone with this URL can do stuff on your application. So yeah, so you would you would essentially send this URL to the other application. This is via email or, or securely whatever, right? So this application has this URL. Now it can query this URL and find the information it needs. But let's say in this case, the application now is ready to consume this webhook. And let's say we want to post, do a post on this URL and say, hello, right? This message, right? Whenever it wants the application to can call this message, call this URL and do this stuff. So we're going to send a message, hello, right? Do a post, simple post. And that basically, the moment you do that, application one will receive that. It knows which webhook, right? There is a webhook ID that identifies this uh, call, right? And there is some data. And can you can take that data and post it to a channel or, or, or upload the file or do fancy stuff with the message, right? A lot of you, people use this on events, right? If I upload this video, do this, right? Post a message in Discord, okay? And we're gonna go an example, actual Discord, how it works, okay? So here's the example what we're gonna do here. So we have Discord, the server, the application, which is like a community chatting software, right? I'm, I might be simplifying it too much, right? It's also have voice and all these features, right? And on the other hand, what we're gonna use, I'm not gonna build an application or do GitHub or all that jazz, right? I'm gonna use the browser, I'm gonna call a Fitch API, right? To consume that webhook. So in Discord, I'm gonna create a new webhook on the general channel, right? And then on the JavaScript API here, on this other side, 
I'm going to take that URL and then I'm going to post a message called hello. And that message will be essentially creates a new message on the general channel, right? With the, with the user that we essentially creates with, right? So how about we just jump into examples, guys? All right, guys. So now I am on my Discord server. So what we're going to do here, guys, is... I want to go to the general channel. That's where I want to create my webhook to because my webhook will be essentially creating messages in this channel. So sending messages to this channel. So I'm going to create edit channel, click on edit channel. And then under edit channel, I'm going to go to webhooks here. Okay. And once I do that, I'm going to create a webhook. And this webhook, you can, <laughs> it's called Captain Hook, whatever. The name doesn't really matter here. I want it to be in the general channel. And it's called Captain Hook. Sure, we can change the name later. And that's what the interesting part is. This beautiful URL, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL. And we're going to play with it a little bit. Let's go ahead and save that. So that is my webhook. There has very important information. It has, if you noticed, it has the token. And it has the webhook URL as well. So it's very, very interesting thing, okay? So now, if I go to let's say to a browser and I hit that notice this guys take a note what happened here is this is the URL this part is always fixed right right webhooks this ID right there is the webhook ID so it's identical to this the ID itself okay and that part over there is actually the, if you notice, it's the token, which is identical to the token. So technically, if you post a message to this, right, there is a specific structure. I'm going to reference the uh, Discord API here, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. But what, what you need to do is essentially send a specific crafted JSON message to this URL, and you will be able to create what uh, the message, right? So let's send a hello message to the general channel. How about that? So go to your, how do you use Fitch API? We made a video about Fitch API, guys. I'm going to reference it here. And uh, go to the developer tools here, then console. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do const URL webhook URL equal this. That's the URL, right? That's exact URL I, I took from that. And be careful, guys. Having this, this URL has a lot of power. If someone gets this URL, they can spam your, essentially, your, 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 uh, your, uh, your channel with messages, right? So you want to keep this on the back end as, and as secure as possible, right? But this is a tutorial. We're just explaining things, right? So now I have a URL. What do I do with this URL, right? I can do a post request to this URL and we can send a specific craft message. So how about we build that message first? I'm going to build a message and that message is, it's a JSON object. And uh, there are so many properties and I'm interested only on the content. The content is the message you want to send, right? So it's like, hello, I am a bot. And this is fetch API, whatever. Okay. So that's the message I want to send. So that's called a message. Sweet. The next thing I want to do is actually I want to do a Fitch API request. So in the browser, there's something called the Fitch API. And I'm going to make a Fitch API to the, the webhook URL. Okay, here. And here's the thing, guys. I need to specify what kind of request is this. And we only support post when, with, uh, with Discord. So what we want to do essentially is just do, I want to do a method here. Okay. And the method is called post. And another thing we need to send is essentially the headers. Okay. Why? Because I'm sending a JSON, you have to tell the browser that, by the way, I'm sending JSON, guys. Actually, the server. You're telling the server that, hey, by the way, this content that I'm about to send is actually JSON. Please deal with it. Okay. And to do that, you create a headers object. And in this headers object, there is another object, okay? And this object called content type, okay? What's the content type? Application slash JSON, okay? 
I'm sorry guys this is getting too much but eh, um, let me do this this way this, yep this is better okay this close this this close this is closes okay so we have method post headers content type all good all the good stuff method i think that's all what we need for that the third part and the final part of this function this object that we're sending we're sending one big object which has three keys the method that's post the headers and the final one is actually the body so let's go ahead and send the body the body is what guys is the message but you cannot send the message as an object you have to stringify it you have to make it into a, a string okay and because you can't really send stuff right or bytes something like that you can't send just object right to through the wire the HTTP protocol do, do not know what a JSON object is it knows the string right and then it knows the type and then the server can deal with it okay okay so you can technically now just send that information and i'm not gonna await it or do any then approach because i'm gonna describe something else right now if i hit enter do i have all the information i need okay it says promise pending something happened in the back end this particular approach that we're doing here we're not waiting for results we're just sending a result say bleh, go take care of it okay but let's see if this works first so if i go to my discord i go to close here go to general look at that guys it actually worked so it worked sweet but the client didn't get any response here that it actually worked okay in order to do that you need to add one more parameter to your url okay so your url is actually uh, this is the url right if you add to it a, a weight object right like the, let's do this right if i do the same url and then do plus weight equal true that will force the client to be synchronous essentially and that will wait for a result from the server unlike the previous approach because this wait parameter is by default is false so it means the client will not wait it will just send and move on with its life okay the server will essentially re respond with an empty message we don't want that sometimes i want to know if my message was posted or there was an error or something so what we do is essentially you just expect you do this wait equal true so you add wait equal true to your url then okay so what i want to do here is essentially ba -ba -ba -ba, do then and then do a json because i'm expecting json back okay and then do then console.life i just want to print it okay if i do that now okay and let's just eh, let's say message here okay now i give back the results is hey look at that guys that's even better right Hello, I'm a bot and the channel ID and all that jazz and author tells you the author, Captain Hook, all that beautiful stuff. So it tells you that this message has been successful. Okay. All right. How do I create another message that has they changed the username, for example? Let's create message. So I had this is the message, right? I'm going to do message.username. I'm going to add the username called Hussein. Right. I am already existing, so it's called Edmond. You can change the username of the message. So now the message says the content and the username, and this is recognized by Discord. So what we do, if now I send the same call, right? If I go back to Discord, this is our first message. That's the message we just sent before, and that's the message with the user. And you can do so much other stuff. I'm going to reference the resources, guys, for you to actually play with it. And you can upload files. You could upload images, URLs. It's very similar to this, right? So that's what I wanted to do today. Very simple tutorial. Straightforward. Uh, you know, just to the point. I don't want to build applications and all that stuff. Just showing you if right from your browser, you can do that. I'm going to copy the command in the description below for you guys to, to actually do this thing if you want to it's very simple i'm gonna copy it right now so i don't, I don't forget hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm gonna see you in the next one what do you want to see next let me know either in the discord server or in the comment section below i read all the comments 
right? And uh, whenever we have time, we're gonna play with this stuff. I love this stuff, guys. Keep them coming. See you in the next one. Stay awesome.